Uh, one of the things I'm always worried about is we have a history in my family of dementia. Mm. And so as I have started to research many of these things, one of the things I have realized is how important sleep is because that's when your body is clearing the amyloid plaques out of the system and flushing it. And if you keep having these recurring periods where you're not getting those deep cycles in, mm -hmm. it can exasperate your chances from what I've studied of having things like that happen. Is that a... 100%. Okay. Yeah, no, that's absolutely correct. I have a three-part series on my podcast that goes through the end of Alzheimer's, meaning like no one needs to get Alzheimer's anymore. So sometimes I give conventional medicine a hard time, but conventional medicine has amazing acute base testing and they do a great job at saving lives. What they don't do is help people very well with chronic-based disease. So if you get Alzheimer's, conventional medicine doesn't do a lot. But there are actually protocols, like the MEND protocol, that's been clinically proven, like in trials, to reverse nine out of 10 cases of Alzheimer's. Now, the ones they can't re reverse are terminal Alzheimer's, or terminal dement. Alzheimer's is a variation of dementia, right? So there's levels of dementia. Alzheimer's would be one of those. And if you've ever seen the brain, uh, I teach this in something called high-performance health, if you've seen the brain of someone with terminal Alzheimer's, there's holes in the brain. Natural medicine, conventional medicine, we don't know how to repair that. So when you get to that state, unfortunately, you have holes in the brain. Now, here's the amazing thing, and I now recommend this to anyone that's able to. It's not fully accessible. I totally understand that. But you can do a full body MRI now without contrast, the toxicity of the contrast. And you can look at the brain. And you can find hints of dementia or Alzheimer's 20 to 30 years in advance. Alzheimer's wow. doesn't happen overnight. Again, it overflows that rain barrel. It is years of, just like you said, the amyloid plaques is one of them. There's no doubt about that. High levels of cortisol, inflammation, heavy metals. These are all things that affect the brain, lower amounts of neurotransmitters. And so our job is to test and give yourself on a yearly basis a clean bill of health. Yeah, I'm good. Now you don't have to worry about that because, yeah, my family as well, unfortunately, one of my grandfathers had Alzheimer's I'm on my wife's side her grandfather had Alzheimer's. And you look at a specific allele that you have in your body which tells you are you more prone to it. Even if you're more prone to it, it doesn't mean that you have to have it. So the nice thing is test ahead of time, give yourself the clean bill of health, nobody develops Alzheimer's over a year, and you're good for the next year. Keep doing the things that are keeping you well.